the way, this is a olive orchard over there. That's how they grew, grow olives here. Springtime is now dry. is that apparently they've had a drought this year so there's not much water in the waterfalls as you'll see in the video um, it's just kind of a little bit of a spray so I might go down because there's like some meadows sort of thing down there um, so yeah I'm gonna go down there after I've been to this short walk on the waterfall um, so yeah see you in a bit the main lodge um, got changed because 38 degrees is too bloody hot and I also got some more cold water so hydration is important and I got my hat because yeah sun and blonde hair don't mix well actually they do mix it just means that sun plus blonde hair equals sun. If I don't want to get burnt like all over my head, then I need to wear a hat. Which is a shame because it like, makes me look stupid, but what can you do? It's too bloody hot. 
Alright, so now I'm going to go for a walk along the river, I think. Um, see if we can get some good shots there. And along the nice meadows. And try not to get run over by any bikes. This place is amazing. Literally, everywhere you turn is another photo. Something is about to come up and eat you from this grass. Maybe it's like the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park. I'm just about to see the grass start moving. I survived. I'm back onto the main path. I think I do see one over there though. calculate a little bit and having to rush back to the bus because I ended up going the long way around by accident and I've now got half a mile to cover in 10 minutes. Should be okay. Maybe a couple of minutes later at worst. Maybe a bit red in the face. Well I'm already a bit red in the face but maybe more red in the face when I get back. Made it. Just about. I think that's the one. As I said earlier, about two and a half hours to get to our evening stop. still worth it. It was it's definitely somewhere that's gone on my list of places that I want to go back to. I want to like come back and like stay in the actual park and do all the walking tours around because what I did was a mile, two miles just around the central area because we, we only had two and a half hours and given that I had my camera with me like there's hiking walking which is quite fast and there's normal walking and then there's photography walking. And photography walking is about three times as slow as the others. I didn't make it very far, but I took lots of nice pictures whilst I was going. I'll probably stick those in another vlog at some other point. But yeah, it was a fantastic day even for the god knows how long spent on the uh, bus. And I'm now in desperate need of a shower because, yeah, I'm not built for 38 degree weather. Tomorrow I'm going to do the bus tours around because I've got a 48 hour ticket thing for the open top buses and I've got a city pass thing for the tram system so I can use that as much as I want. So I'm going to go up to Gonnagate Park, do California Academy of Sciences and then I'm going to try and head out to one of the others. I can't remember what it's called but sort of like the Met but a lot smaller I think and then hopefully head out and do the park actually by Golden Gate Bridge, which I think is the Presido, Presido, however the hell you pronounce it, and then come back hopefully in time for the fireworks. And yeah, so I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.